So let's sit on the edge of the chair. And just like, let's start making a little bit of a circling around the sitting bones where we And let's have different images. So let's have an image of the spine being like a ladle and we are <coughs> stirring a soup. All the way from the top, all the way down, a long ladle. And let's Change the direction and again steer it with a very, very long stick. So the ribs are barely moving. Good. And now we're gonna have a short spoon, starting from the belly button, and we're gonna steer it from the belly button. Good, excellent. Very different, isn't it? From using the whole torso. Mm -hmm. And let's change the direction and again, a short spoon and it gets to scrape around the pelvic bones a little bit more. Like you're trying to get all these good vegetables into the soup again from the edges of the pot. Good. And now we're going to have a longer spoon, but not all the way up to here, all the way to the ribs, and we're going to do it from the ribs. So the ribs are turning. We're going to use that kind of a spoon when we have a tall Hot and we have to scrape up from the top, right? And let's change the direction. Ribs, 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 ribs. Around and around. and rest good we're gonna go back to the tall one and now as you are going around and around try to sense what else in the body is participating maybe the knees maybe the feet okay so the top of the head very long stick and we are going around and around can you feel the movement on your knees can you feel the pelvis moving around and around? Can you feel the sitting bones making a circle? Can you feel the weight shifting on your feet from back to side to forward to side? And let's change direction again, the long stick. So the ribs are one, the hip is one, the spine is the one that's going around and around. And
and what else is participating? Are you sitting on one hip more as the body goes? And the more awareness we have, the more we data we have about what is happening in the body, the better we are because we have more choices and we use more of ourselves. Okay, now we're gonna go to the short spoon. Short spoon. What moves? What moves less? Hiccups. Ah. I used to get hiccups uh, when I was pregnant. I mean, I think the baby, the baby used to get the hiccups, so my belly would just jump. <laughs> So it's a short spoon which moves more of the pelvis and less of the torso. And let's change direction. And it's quite a workout for the abdominals. Mm -hmm. It's really good if you feel constipated because it moves <laughs> everything. It helps the parastatic movement. Instead of taking all kinds of medication, this is yeah. actually there's a yoga exercise that you do in standing like this, and you exhale and you move the abdominal like this. So we're doing it sitting and we are breathing. So it's a little easier version of it. Okay, did we do the other side? Did we go both sides? Okay, so now we're gonna go into the ribs. So, ribs. 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 How much am I moving forward on my legs? How much am I moving back on? How much do I go out when the ribs go to the side? What's happening underneath your feet? Can you feel the weight going around and around the feet? And change direction. Ribs leading the way, scraping the sides of that soup pot. Okay, and rest. I'd like to do one more, which will be in some way easier and some way harder. You're sitting on a sitting bones that are maybe this far apart from one another, and I'd like to make tiny little circles right in between those two bones. Right between those two bones. So now it's a very small circle almost like the width of your vertebrae. See if you can concentrate, kind of go in and feel how you're working around the spine with very little circle. So now we're working the core muscles, the really, really deep muscles. So there's hardly any movement from the center because I'm only going the width of the vertebra. Yeah. Wonderful. And let's change direction. Change. Can you feel that one foot pushes into the floor? more than the other. Okay, and let it go. Interlace your fingers, inhale up, stretch it all out, and let it go.
Let's do it again. And inhale. Flip and give it a stretch. Release everything we've done and let it go. Okay. And now we're going to roll the sitting bones back. And we're going to roll them forward. Roll them back. And roll them forward. See if you can open between your legs a little bit. There you go. So you, they're actually aligned with your hip bones. Back and forward. And back and forward. And kind of maybe even close your eyes or don't, but imagine that you're sitting on a swing in the front porch in an old Florida home. Ding, ding. See if you can rock over your sitting bones, but it's not just over your sitting bones, it's also over the bone that of the leg going into the hip. Over, behind, over, behind, and then it's a circle, behind. You can do it slowly or faster. And see if you can feel that one side rolls better than the other. Maybe it's clearer in your mind's eye. And round and round. So it's not just forward and back. This is without using the acetabulum, without using the joint here. So roll back and roll forward. Roll back and roll forward. Roll back and roll forward. It's almost like you're zipping up the pants, you're opening the zipper. Zipping up, opening. Or see the circle of the bone, the femur bone going into the opening of the hip. Good, and stay up, 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 up. And now bring the knees in and out, and in. In and stay in the center. Lift up your right leg. Swing in, swing out, swing in and out. So the swinging happens from the leg swinging in the hip joint. Not just from the knee, but from the hip joint. If you put your hand on the side, you'll feel the rotation. And if it becomes really, really difficult, then you go on the floor. Swing, 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 swing. So you touch the floor and then you lift. Touch the floor and then you lift. And now that it gets really tired, let it go. You're feeling it in here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's do the other leg. So let's start a little bit by lifting it and swing and swing. So you have the rotation of the leg in the hip joint, deep inside. Swing it, swing it, doesn't have to be big. And then when you get tired, then go down to the floor and up, 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 floor and up. Let the flow give you an oomph. Is there a word like this? Oomph. <laughs> up and up and let it rest. Rock over, rock behind. Rock over, rock behind. Rock over, rock behind. Remember that you're going up and over. You go up and behind it. You go up and over, up and behind. Both sides, both sides in the middle, right where the zipper is. You're using more of your left side. Yeah, right. Okay. 
Do you feel how your left side moves? Uh -huh. So try to, okay. All right, then let's rest. Let interlace your fingers, inhale up. Give it a nice stretch. Oomp, 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 oomp. And let it go. And then second one, up and over. Yuck, 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 up, 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 show your belly buttons, and let it go. And one more time. And get your shirt all the way up, show your belly buttons. Good, and let it go. All right, back to the hip joint. Let's get one leg deep inside the hip joint. And forward and deep inside the hip joint. So let's fix our, how we sit. Let's sit on the very, very edge, very, very edge. Because when you go forward, the sitting bones on that side will fall off the chair. <gasps> okay, so your legs are planted on the ground your right knee goes in, 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 pushes the hip back a little bit. And then it will go forward, 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 and the sitting bones will fall off the chair. Then I have to pick it up, bring it into the chair, and I bring the leg, the femur, deep, 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 and get the hip to move back. Yeah and then get, let that leg go. So we're trying to get a clear understanding and ability of the leg coming into the hip joint today. And back, in, 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 until the hip moves a little bit back. It can move very much because we have a joint there in the back. And get the leg forward until the sitting bone wants to slide off the chair and get it back in and bring the leg, the bone, without lifting the heel, in, 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 and out. And in. So the hip is very helpful, right? It's kind of you're pushing it forward when the leg goes forward, and you're pushing it back when the leg comes in and you're pushing it forward, and you're pushing it back, and you're pushing it forward, and you're pushing it to the middle, and you rest. You're sitting on the edge of the chair, and just for a minute, take a minute to feel that side that we moved to the side that we just did the rotation on. So now we're going to go to that side. So you're sitting on the edge of the chair. And we're going to allow the leg to first go in. And then we're going to allow it to go out, 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 out. Maybe even let the sitting bone fall forward. And bring the sitting bone back up to the chair. And bring the leg in, in, in. So you push this hip back. And you push this hip back forward and you push this hip back and you push this hip forward and you push it back and you push it forward good and you push it back and you push it forward push it back and you push it forward and let's come back to the chair and see how that side feel how this side feel rock a little bit from sitting bone to sitting bone and now rock back behind and rock up and forward and rock back and rock forward and rock back 
and rock forward and stay in the center and interlace your fingers up inhale pull 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 ah. and interlace and pull 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 and release let's just look at the shoulder joint for a minute we're gonna take it up and back up and forward up align with the ear and back so the same circle that we did down here we try to make the same circle with the shoulder. So now that we know what we're doing, how much of the ribs move as we come up, up, up and back, and as we come up and forward? Up and back. You can even put your fingers on your ribs and feel if they're moving. Is it coming up with you? Or you're just doing it shoulder? See if you can move the ribs. Move the ribs. So it's not just the shoulder, it's the shoulder blade that's moving in. It's the ribs that's moving. Let's go to the other side before you get too tired. Take a breath for a minute and move the shoulder back because we're going to come up and forward. Up and roll it behind. Up and forward. Up and behind. Up and forward. Up and behind, up and forward, up and behind. Let's rest, we're gonna use both of them. And this time when you roll the shoulders up and forward and up and back, what you're gonna pay attention to is the direction of the elbow. So just watch for a second. As I come, see my elbows are in the back, up and forward my elbows are forward now up and back my elbows are back so join me up and roll the elbows forward and up and roll the elbows back up because I don't want you to use only the shoulders I want you to use ribs and shoulder blade yeah so I want to see the inside and now show me the elbows, the pointy part. And there. Do you feel how there's so much more to it than just the shoulders? The whole back, the whole chest. And let's do it one more time. Up and roll and up and roll and stay in the back and get really wide here like you're showing off <laughs> total open you know like little kids there's nothing to hide here i am haha -ha, here i am i'm alive you know there's nothing of that oh that's <laughs> 80 years <laughs> okay so it's that 180 degrees like complete openness <sighs> Okay, back to the hip joint. Open the legs a little bit wider. Very good. And allow the right, your right leg to drop. Are you sitting on the edge? Yeah. He lift the heel and roll the leg inwards and down. Hold on to the chair and allow the leg to drop down and bring it back and lower the heel. 
I feel like I need to come a little bit closer to the chair. So you check yourself to lift the heel and rotate and let the leg rotate in in the hip socket until the leg, the knee points down. Remember how we did it with the elbow? Now we're doing it with the knee. And the knee will rotate back and down. And up, rotate, 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 rotate in the hip socket until the knee points forward. Sort of. And rotate it back. And you may feel it really strongly in the hip that stays on the chair. Up, rotate, rotate. This sitting bone now is up in the air, right? You're sitting on one sitting bone and the leg. And up and and up and rotate. And up and good. Let's do the other side. So make sure you're on the sitting bone. Make sure this leg is a little closer to the chair. Put your hands on the chair, lift the heel, and rotate, rotate, rotate. This sitting bone now is hanging out, and you're lifting, and you're coming back. And lift the heel, rotate on the front part of your foot. The knee is turning, turning, turning. The whole leg is turning in. You get a little bit of a stretch here, right? And which is good. Those muscles need that stretch because we sit for so many hours a day. And come back. And lift the heel. And rotate, rotate, rotate. And come back. And lower. And up and rotate and up and lower good that will be enough of that bring the legs in we'll try one more thing take your right leg and bring it up as high as you can whether it's here here or here and now we're gonna press this knee down and bring it up and press it down without taking the body mm -hmm. body stays hug and unhug and hug and send away and hug and send away and stay here for a minute breathe Exhale, breathe again, exhale, release, and hug, 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 breathe here, exhale, inhale, exhale, Press one more time without taking this left knee in. Keep the knee where it is. Just press the knee down and release the leg. And we're going to do the other leg. Either here, here, or here. Hug. Unhug. Hug. Unhug, hug, unhug, stay down, press, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale and release, hug, hold, 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 inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, release, and lower the leg, interlace your fingers, stretch, stretch, stretch as high as you can, flip the hands, pull, pull, pull the elbows up until your belly button shows, and let it go. And only one more time. Inhale up. Pull even higher than you think you are. You can. Good. Bring your chin down. Bring your chin a little bit up see, until you see that little bit of the ceiling. Bring your chin down. Push the hands even further back and release everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.